Yeah, hi everyone. Um, okay, yeah, so I've got um, my friend here, Mark Prophet. He loves to give me a bit of a hard time, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, he'll only appear when he sees words like this, uh, and then put his little comment, and then won't um, won't watch the longer videos, the ones that do all the explaining, the ones with the all the Bible verses, and points it out bit by bit. So, Mark, if you're watching this. Please don't run away. Stay till the end of the video because I'm doing this all for you. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyone else that's watching this should make things nice and clear and um, should blow your mind and uh, hopefully get all the thoughts clear in your head so it's nice and simple to to uh, see. So um, in saying so, like um, th there is a bit of predestination going on with uh, with way God does stuff so there is going to be tribulation saints there is going to be Judah all right um, that's why some people think they're Judah because they read Judah's stuff so they think they're Judah and there's people that just read tribulation stuff or you know or Judah stuff and that's why they end up in tribulation because they think they're Judah um, <clears throat> and a few other things but anyway let's let's go to down here, he posts a little video link, which which I like. It's pretty good. Uh, this is a salvation issue. Um, either you trust Jesus or... So it, it's not a salvation issue. Salvation means you get paradise, right? Which is a free gift. So that that's simple. Even the thief on the cross got that free gift. Okay, so that's totally different. Salvation issue. This issue is an issue of whether you get rewards or not. All right, this is what it is. This is the difference between pre, mid, and post is the difference in rewards. All right, uh, there's different rewards. So that's what it is. Salvation simple. That's that's done. Just get that out of your head. Everybody gets salvation quite easily. All right, that's the, that's the easiest thing. That's just the start. Once you receive salvation, you've got your free gift. That's your little stamp. Gets you in the door of the nightclub. Now you can start to learn things. All right, from that, that's the beginning. That's that's where you give yourself to God, all right, that's, and let Him fix you. That's, this is just before you you're born again, or just after you're born again. Sorry. So um, that's simple. Get that out yet? All right. So I'll go to this video here, um, which is this fella. So I'll just put it back here at the start. Where is he? Today I want to show you a couple of mentions of the word tribulation in the Book of Romans. Now. I think the biggest problem with people who believe in the pre-trib rapture is that they just don't know what the word tribulation means. And that's why I would strongly encourage them to look up the 22 times in the New Testament that the word tribulation is used. Now, he just said means, right, and used. So, so yes, okay, fair enough, that's good, but that's why we have Strong's Concordance. So you can look up the definition of words and see what they mean. So, we'll carry on. It's used 22 times. I, I, I challenge you to look up those 22 mentions of the term tribulation. You'll learn a lot. And I don't think you'll still be pre-trib after you look at those 22 mentions. But let me just read for you a couple of mentions from the book of Romans. Romans 5 says this in verse 3, And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. So right there, tribulations or trials or troubles are things that we go through and we glory in them. Romans chapter 8 says this in verse number, uh, let's see, let's start reading in verse number 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. So again, in, in Romans 5 we saw in our tribulations, and in Romans 8 we see the same thing. In all these things, in tribulation, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. The other thing I want to point out about this passage is that in verse 33, he calls us God's elect. And who is he speaking to? The Romans. He's speaking to the saved, whether they be Jew or Gentile. A lot of uh, false teachers will teach that the elect are Israel today. Well, 
Israel is not God's chosen people today. They're not the elect. We that are in Christ are the elect. And so the Bible calls us, including Roman Gentile believers, he calls us the elect, and he says, we're joyful in our tribulations. We glory in tribulations. In our tribulations, we are more than conquerors. Look up those 22 mentions. None of them supports a pre-tribulation rapture. Yeah, nice and simple. I'll, <laughs> very good. All right, so let's look at uh, tribulation. Persecution, affliction, distress, tribulation. So it's basically applying pressure, they put it, um, to get you to repent. That's pretty much what God's using it for. Uh, pressure that constricts or rubs together, used to to narrow a place, the hands, so to push you onto the narrow path, right? In, internal pressure causes someone to feel confined, restrict. A compression tribulation carries the challenge of copying with the internal pressure of tribulation. Uh, no way to escape. All right, so so basically, yeah, so pressure, applying pressure for uh, to to show you to go the right direction or the wrong, whichever one you choose. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, hang on, I forgot to ask too. Hi, Abba. Hi, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, could you uh, help me? Thank you. Bring words to my remembrance and uh, guide me. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. All right. Um, now, so what have we got here? Where, where was I? So we got tribulation. All right. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at tribulation. All right. I know my friend Mark doesn't like this picture, but it's simple and it helps people see it in its mind, in their mind. So, all right. So he's saying um, you can't have uh, the word tribulation proves that you can't have a pre-trib rapture. So tribulation, this is tribulation here. All right, just this area here in the first seven years. All right, that's tribulation. So you got the bit he doesn't like is this bit here. So Luke, the reason why it's got Luke written down here, if you look at the the books, Matthew's the longest by far because it goes right up to here, right in the story. Mark's only comes to only really to this area, right, which is to get the the main rapture of the tribulation saints, which is Mark prophet, right. So he's one of these guys, um, and this is the the bride that um, ruler. This one here, bride. The, these ones here, right, or the, these dead here, right, so let me start again. Most of these get raptured, but some go get breathed on by Jesus when he comes as a white horse, right, and they go into tribulation to bring in the great multitude to help bring them in, all right, and they will end up, these ones here are the dead. These are the ones that die in Christ, they're, they're dead, right, and then they rise here at the beginning of the Manonial reign. The dead in Christ rise first, right, so they, they go up there. Uh, the famine is no word of God, right, you, there will be no more of bread, right, it's a famine and bread, uh, God's word is bread. Right, so you're not allowed to have God's word. That'll be the famine here. All right, here's your uh, your beast and uh, the power given to continue to for 42 months. All right, the uh, yeah, 144 come out of the great multitude and then they go into trumpets, right? And they want to bring in Judah, who still to this point don't know where to look, right? And don't, pff, don't really care, but anyway. Um, so the 144 go in to bring in Judah, right? So there we are, Judah here. Where are they? Judah. Um, on the wings of an eagle, right? They escape just before um, Satan and his angels get cast down, all right? So you guys that are doing the seven year thing, you're trying to stuff all of this stuff into seals, right? And then you've got, you've got wrath and uh and tribulation mixed up right the, uh, wrath i'll show i will get to wrath <laughs> all right it's obviously over here somewhere all right so yeah so this is the the basis of um of tribulation all right so it's basically this area here now isaiah isaiah i'll, I'll let you know is actually both old and new testament all right 
um, in one book. Isaiah's awesome. Love Isaiah. You know, and I encourage everyone to uh, desire that too. So I, I do have this thing I usually post around everywhere because it's the most simplest way I can... You have no idea how long it took to make this. <laughs> the Holy Spirit helping me with it. All right? It took like years um, to break it down so that I could put it on one page that I could hand out that people would look into and study themselves. All right, so you can pause and go through that. Now, these three points here, these are not errors, right? These robes aren't different colors by mistake. They're not seeing um, mistake on what. There's reasons why these colors are different, right? They represent other different things. Um, you, you'll see here, like in Luke, right at the Last Supper, Jesus broke bread and served them and ate with them. Um, in Mark... He came in and they were already eating. He didn't serve them or eat with them. He berated them for their lack of faith. All right. Luke on the cross. All right. Jesus said, Father, into your arms I commend my spirit. Mark and Matthew, he says, My God, why have you forsaken me? All right. So tribulation stuff. Now, so first rapture. God has always had three harvests. I'll get, Mark, I'll get to your, I know you love your verses. They're all down here. All right. We'll, we'll get to them. All right. God has always had three harvests through the Bible. <clears throat> there is also three raptures, pre, mid, post, are all true. The first rapture of the bride, Luke's group, who pray to be counted worthy, all right, is in Rev 4, and the door was open in heaven. I heard God's voice as a sound of a trumpet. We go up in the beginning of chapter 4, and chapter 5 has the bride standing before the throne in the white robes wearing crowns, 24 elders. Each elder represents a group of people from tongues and nations, all right? So there's not just 24 old people sitting around, all right? There's quite a few, <laughs> all right? So you got Mark and Matthew, chapter 4 and 5, Jesus goes out and <coughs> brings in the great multitude, or speaking to the great multitude, Isaiah 66-7 and 2 Corinthians. All right, let's have a look. Where are we? Um... Revelation 20, I think we have that one yet, not quite, we'll get there. Rev 4, alright, seen in heaven. Um, come up here, look like Zappa. Right, round the throne, four and twenty seats, upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting with clothing, <coughs> with clothing, white garments. So these elders are already there. Um, for the train and sea glass, six wings, right, four and twenty elders fell down before him that sat on the throne, worshipped him that lived forever and ever, and cast the crowns before the, before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive thy glory, power, um, all right, so ye, ye elders are there, let's have a look, let's go, what was it? Hang on. Alright, chapter 5. We'll go to 5. So, most of the time, when I'm asked questions about the Bible, right, I don't even get anything in my head, right, because I trust the King James that much. When someone says this is wrong or whatever, I'll just go there and go, okay, let's have a look. I don't, I don't know if it's wrong or not. I just go there and I wait for the Holy Spirit to show me <clears throat> what's what's going on. I have no preconceived uh, things about the book. I just, I just know it, it'll show me. Uh, um, sat on the throne, written, seal, seal, no, I saw proclaiming. Well, no man was found worthy to open the book. The elders said to me. Amidst the throne of the beast, uh, and the elders. Yes, all right. So we got we got the elders there. Let's have a look. What where did I go to the next? And I had tongues, <clears throat> nations. Oh, Isaiah six six seven. Yeah, so that's a good one. So let's find Isaiah. All right. So you'll see here, um, Isaiah, before she travailed, all right? So this is before she had pain or trouble, 
right? Before she brought forth. So this is before she had a child, all right? Before, before she had a child, before she travailed, okay? Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man-child. Now, do you understand that, all right? It, it, it doesn't make sense because, what, what does that mean? All right. Uh, oh, well, that's the most f famous one. Where, where'd I put it? Revelation uh, 12. I thought I had it up there, but I don't. Try and get it there quick with my really lightning fast internet. Quick. Rev 12. She brought forth a man child. All right. Ruling and reigning. All right. So there'll be your yeah, 24 elders. Uh, the woman which was ready to be delivered. All right. So this is, she's ready to be delivered. All right. So Isaiah 66. Before she tra travailed. Before she brought forth. Before her pain. All right. So that one's. She's ready to be delivered, right? So obviously in pain. <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows childbirth. I'm a, I'm a dad, so I've got a rough idea. All right. Um, so this is all all before that. All right. That's happened before the before the dragon is is sitting there in front, ready to devour the child. Right. Okay. So, wait, where's our picture again? Before. Alright. So, before tribulation, before any of that stuff. Alright, what else we got? Um, let's have a look here. Now, your second rapture. Uh, Rev 6 and 7. Souls show up under the altar. Um, for the life of the Lord has taken the mark. 6. Right, right, six and seven. Um, holding the angels say this group was taken out of great tribulation and uh, washed their robes. Right, so they had to go through tribulation to wash their robes. All right, so Revelation six. Okay, fifth seal martyrs, which is this lot. Okay, there's your fifth seal. All right, fifth seal. Um. Yeah, when they were slain for the word of God and the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice saying, Oh, uh, how long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? All right. So th these ones here uh, have known he's coming and all that, right? <laughs> They're like, you know, how long? You know, because this is what they went in there for. They went in to get the bring in this lot. All right. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty happy to <laughs> get him. So, yeah, so this lot here will come here. They This lot are in Christ, all right? Um, six seal. All right, so notice the main rapture hasn't happened yet. The, the multitude, six seal, behold. Okay. Um, so, yep, the big, big things are happening there. So we go to... <clears throat> Seven with my fast internet. Uh, interlude. Okay, so you have a bit of a quiet there. And I saw the angel, the voice. Yep. Now you're 144, right? They get sealed first. You can see here. So look, 144 sealed. Alright, so <clears throat> the multitude from tribulation, uh, I, and after after this I beheld, lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, all nations, kindreds, and people, All right, cried with a loud voice, salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, uh, blessed and glory and wisdom, alright, that's so what I'm saying, okay, so after, after this, is this lot all right so off they go all right with me 
<laughs> I, I'm trying my best just to keep it down to an easy version. Because you can get right in depth in this. Like I said, I've got three hour videos just on one bit. <laughs> just breaking everything down, proving word by word. Um, so you can understand it and, and make sure you understand and it's it's locked in your head. All right, and and that's truth. All right, okay. Third rapture. Matthew, which is Judah? All right, Judah, Judah bride. Let's have a look at Judah. Judah's over here. All right, that's this area. Uh, when I come to you the third time, uh, which is which is actually the this well this last bit down here anyway third time second corinthians resurrection day all right so this is the first resurrection this is the one you like um mark it ha it happens at the last trump all right seventh trumpet first thessalonians all right so that this is the one you're all, you're on about a lot okay so uh when i come to you the third time so this is the third time that he comes and as on the wings of an eagle you'll see here all right, so as on the wings of the eagle, this is the sideways, like a sideways rapture sort of thing, where they escape. But your third one is here. So this is the wrath. All right, when you want to understand wrath, there's actually seven bowls happen in one trumpet. All right, this is nuts. This would be like um, all, all those people that go into that, uh, what's that one, pre-terrorist one there. The... <laughs> the There'll be like so much destruction you won't believe. It's going to be phenomenal, and there'll be evidence of it. You know, there's no evidence of uh, showing of uh, this that religion, but whatever. Anyway, this will be nuts. So that's your wrath. All right, tribulation, pressure, applied pressure to get us, and this is going to be huge. Like so many people are going to turn to God. It's going to be awesome. Right, so that that's your pressure, that's your tribulation. This side here is your wrath. All right, so those confusing this with wrath, that's it's not right. All right, this is just so simple understanding it this way. Um, so you've got 14 years. All right, a new man above 14 years. Let's have a look at that one. Um, Paul's vision. I knew a man in Christ, all right, in Christ, above 14 years ago. What is above 14 years ago? All right, so that means he's over here. Above 14 years is this side, all right, over here. Not 15 years, it's above 14 years. Not above 13 years, it's above 14 years, all right. So um, Paul is actually in the manilial reign he's actually in the city right and the dead in christ rise in the city so he's in there already right and he's saying he knows a man which is this lot the pre-trib all right so 14 years ago right so he says ago so he is 14 years in the future all right so where we look again 14 years that's 14 years in the future we're here here we're here now, so 2024, when that, around that time. Um, and then you go, go in the future, you're here. This is Manelia Rain. You get to see where Paul's hanging out, all right? Um, okay, now, second one. Where are we? Okay, second one. And I knew such a man, all right? Someone similar to, kind of like, not quite in, not a man in Christ, but like a man in Christ. Whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth. How is he caught up to paradise? All right, you'll notice this guy goes to paradise. This one, third heaven. All right, third heaven and paradise are not the same place. All right, not the same place. So, um, this guy here, he gets caught up. And that guy is, where are we? That guy is this lot. Mid-trib rapture, right? This is the one that he's talking about. This is the second lot. 
All right, so what I'll say is, like, some of these guys st uh, are breathed on by Jesus when he comes as the white horse, right? And he warns um, Judah they've got to leave Israel, get out, and um, they've got to repent, and they didn't let the land rest, so they've got to bugger off for seven years. Um, and he's and he's there to warn them. And while he's, there, while he's here warning, he's going to breathe on this lot, right? So this lot go into seals and to help bring in the great multitude, Okay. This lot here is most likely these, right? These will be really well sought after. They want to wipe this lot out as quick as possible. So these ones here, these are the dead in Christ, all right? So the dead in Christ raise first before the manilial reign here. And that is a reward, all right? This is this is what I was saying before. These these guys don't aren't looking at rewards, all right? They don't want to rule and reign, they just want to go to paradise, which is after the Manelia reign, and that's when you got your judgment and all that sort of stuff. <coughs> so, so yeah, so these guys, they die there, and um, we'll pop back up at the end here. So all your bowls and seals at the end. Hang on, oh, where we go? Um, so, where were we? So, I think I got... All right, so yes, dead in Christ, rise the dead in Christ. All right, we got that bit, didn't we? All right, dead in Christ over here. Man of sin, okay, man of sin over here. Many will die refusing the mark of beast. Yeah, we showed that. Revelation 20, first resurrection. Ah, uh, ah, uh, weird. Now I looked for where it says first resurrection, but but anyway, judgment on the throne, and I saw the white throne and him that sat on it, and and I saw the dead, small, great, stood before God. Books were open. All right, so uh, Satan freed, doomed, Satan bound. I saw an angel. All right, so what do you got? Satan, boof, but down here, all right. Um, then he gets bound, all right, um, and he's freed after Manelia reign, all right. So you got the Manelia reign, thousand years. Uh, the dead in Christ go into the city to uh, help rule and reign, and they they judge and all that sort of stuff, all right. Um, and you've got uh, Judah. Um, they go out and teach the world. They're no longer preaching. They don't have to spread gospel. They're actually, you'll see in Matthew 28, last one. Uh, the Great Commission. All right. And then the disciples went into Galilee into a mountain. Sounds familiar. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted, right? And Jesus came and spoke unto them and said, All power is given unto me, heaven and earth. All right, so, Manali reign. Go ye therefore and teach. All right, so they're teaching now, baptizing them in the name of the Son and the Holy Spirit and the Ghost. Right, so they're teaching all nations. They're not preaching. They're not telling them that Jesus is God because they already know. <laughs> all right, so uh, teaching them to observe all things I have commanded you. Lo, I am with you. I am with you always, always, even unto the end of the world. All right, so the end of the world. It will be after the middle of your reign, I'm guessing, right? But he knows not when, <laughs> the the day or the hour, when the, that the end of the world will happen. All right, so everyone likes quoting that one. If they looked at the verse just above it, no man knows the day or the hour. All right, so there's that one. Where are we back? So you got your three crosses, right? So this one here, that's paradise. This one here. That's third heaven. This one here is inherit the earth. All right. So it's basically this is your three types of Christians that you've got. So you got your new Christian, the new one, the one that's just accepted Jesus. All right. Um, he's he's um he's in. He's got his stamp. All right. So he's getting to paradise. So that's what he's got. So you'll see the. The one saved always saved, they'll they'll aspire to this one here. So they nail themselves to a cross and they don't have to, you know, 
don't need to do nothing anymore. You just you've got your you get your way in. All right. So and then you got <clears throat> this Christian here. Uh, the term dead in Christ will rise first. Those in Christ. All right. So if you're in Christ, <clears throat> you're not nailed to a cross. <laughs> you you're now in Christ. All right. Holy Spirit has grabbed hold of your life and has changed your life or is in the process of changing your life. Um, <clears throat> you, you're no longer relying on lotto tickets or making deals with God, saying, oh, God, you know, if you let me win this lotto, blah, blah, blah. Your hope is now totally in God. You don't buy lotto tickets, um, all that sort of stuff, all right? You give it, you're working on giving up smoking or drinking, and all your habits, are, all your addictions are going. You're not addicted to Facebook anymore, Um Whatever, all these habits the uh, Holy Spirit is helping you get rid of. You're involving God in your job. You've probably got a new job. So every day you're asking God to help you with your job. You'll say, God bless the people um, during your job. You're not ashamed of God no more. Um, and uh, yeah, just everything Everything you do will be with God in your life. All right? Um, regardless of the consequences, you don't care <clears throat> um, about that people will you will want to sack you because you've mentioned God, all right? You won't worry. You, God will just find you another job, all right? That, so that's when you're in Christ, right? You've died with Christ, um, and now you're living like Christ, as Christ, right? You're, you're born again, basically, the fallen one. Um, and then you've got this one here, inherit the earth. So this is Judah. Um, basically, the, those that still haven't, Accepted Jesus yet, um, and uh, the, and the rest of the world. So they're, they're, these guys later on will be um, wandering around in trumpets and that, and later on once they realise who Jesus is, <clears throat> yeah, that's when they'll start to kick in. So yeah, that's basically your three three Christians. So the the um, the thing about lose your salvation, all right, that's this lot. They're always going on about lose your salvation, all right? You can't lose your salvation. What they think salvation is is just paradise. They don't realize you've got rewards, all right? This one here is where you get rewards. So you can get rewarded the 144,000. You can get rewarded the elders. You can get lots of rewards. You get your crowns and all that sort of stuff. And you can lose your rewards. And then you just go back to here, all right? So they're thinking this is the goal. This is just a starting point. This is this is uh, not what you should be aspiring to. You should be aspiring to be here, all right. Um, and yeah, and this guy here, he's just he, yeah, got to wait till he figures it all out. That's later on. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so all that uh, um, can you lose your salvation and all that sort of stuff. Um, that's the, that's a bit of a worry because you know because you, you can't these guys are still new or they or they're not actually asking god to show them the truth all right so they, these ones here all they'll care about is truth and they'll just want god to show them the word and all that sort of stuff and they'll ask him all the time and pray him that he shows you um shows you the stuff back here false prophet yep Yep, false prophet. Okay. He's there somewhere. Anyway. I'm sure you'll figure that out. Yeah, beast. Beast makes war on the saints, yep. Uh, white robes were given unto every one of them. Yep. So so that one. They came out of great tribulation. Yes, yes they did come out of great tribulation. Immediately after tribulation in those days. Alright, <clears throat> immediately after, yes, okay, immediately after tribulation I went into trumpets, um, yes, I got you, yeah, Corinthians, yes, last day, anyway, okay, so I, I hope that was helpful, alright, um, your, your video there, yes, very good, um, doesn't, prove anything but and it, and it proves that he should actually use strongs but I like the I like the way he looked at it fair enough it's a good video 
uh, all right well I hope that helps guys because yeah um, as I brought this thing up on the screen I'll just encourage you just to uh, yeah just have a read you can pause and read through this and and please check check for yourself like just go through these verses and check for yourselves and have a look just go through one by one and sort them out I'll, I'll just say when I come to you the third time is that should be down here the last bit but that's about it alright okay god bless guys I, I hope that helped